Hi, I'm Jessica from the London Jewellery School and today I'm going to show you how to make some jewellery. This project is how to make glass jewellery and for it you will need a pair of running pliers, some black bullseye glass, some clear bullseye glass, a piece of dichroic glass, a silver plated backing for a pendant, some medium grit sandpaper, a ruler, this ruler is a corked backed ruler which is ideal but if not you can use a standard ruler, an oil cutter, a cutting mat, you'll also need a kiln shelf, some fibre paper for the kiln and you'll also need a kiln. Now I'm going to show you how to cut your glass. So you start with your square of dichroic which is the size we want our pendant to be and I'm going to back it with some black bullseye glass which I want to make the same size. So I'm going to use the squares on my grid to make sure that they mark up. Using your ruler you're going to place it on the glass you want to cut and place it a little further along from where you want it to be cut because when you're using your cutter it's going to take a little bit off. Place your cutter with the screw side facing up down onto your glass and in one swift movement pull all the way down against the ruler. Using your running pliers making sure that you have the arrow facing upwards you're going to place it on your glass where you've made the groove and push, giving it a nice clean cut. And I'm going to do the same along the bottom to make it approximately the same size. Always move extra glass out of the way when you're cutting. So I have my backing and I have my dichroic. Now I'm going to put a layer of clear glass on the top. Now the clear glass on the top needs to be slightly bigger than my dichroic. The reason for that is because as the glass fuses, the clear glass will fuse over the top and towards the sides of the piece. If it's exactly the same size, it won't cover all the way around the side of the piece. So using my grid again, I'm going to measure where I want to cut my piece. And use exactly the same technique with the oil cutter. Don't worry too much if your squares of glass aren't completely square because as they fuse in the kiln everything will round at the edge. Once you've cut all your glass to size you're going to layer it, ready to go in the kiln. Then I'm going to get my kiln shelf and fibre paper and place my stack neatly in the middle. If you're firing more than one piece of glass at a time, make sure you leave ample room around the edge so that they don't fuse together and now I'm ready to pop it in the kiln. So I'm going to put our glass piece into the kiln. 
making sure that when you put it in you don't jog the piece too much and I'm going to close the door. Now the firing for a full fuse is we're going to ramp it at 800 degrees centigrade per hour to 800 degrees centigrade and when it gets that temperature we're going to hold it for 25 minutes. It will take approximately an hour for that firing to go ahead plus the extra 25 minutes for the piece so it will be finished in about an hour and a half but because it's glass we need to let it cool down slowly so we're going to come back in a couple of hours and take it out of the kiln once the kiln has completely cooled. Our dichroic glass piece out of the oven um, it's got a bit bigger because it, they do grow um, but now we need to attach a back on so that we can wear it as a pendant. The first thing to do is at the back where we're going to attach it we want to gently rub it with some sandpaper just to roughen it up and that gives us a key for where we're attaching it with the glue. Just give it a quick rub and also on the back of your pendant veil. And now we're ready to mix. We have Araldite here, which is a two-part epoxy hardener, um, which we're going to use to attach it onto the back. And you mix equal amounts of both parts. So I'm just going to squeeze out a tiny bit of each. And I'm doing it on a playing card so that I can just throw it away afterwards. But you can do it on a scrap piece of paper or a card or anything. And I'm just using a little toothpick wooden stick. So mix them together. And you want to work with it quite quickly, ideally within the first minute or so of mixing it, because that's when it's really fresh. Once you've mixed it really thoroughly in, you're going to take a little bit and place it on your bale back all over. Then get the glue out of the way and place your glass on top, making sure it's on nice and firmly. It should set within about seven or eight minutes, but it's best not to wear it for about 24 hours. And you're done. That's how you make a piece of glass jewellery.